hello friends here i am back with my session on dotnet hardcore fundamentals today we are going to discuss b of dotnet b actually stands for base class library it's also known as fcl bcl and fcl these are two names for the same thing ECL stands for base class library and FCL stands for framework class library. Some books and blogs refer these things, you know, interchanging with each other, but they are same thing. Now what BCL is? BCL provides the infrastructure for entire .NET development. So whatever you do in .NET is actually happening because of BCL. If you have any background in C or C++ kind of programming languages, you must have, you know, noticed something like you add hash include stdio dot. So what is that? That thing provides infrastructure for development in C and C++. Similarly, when you do using in C sharp and imports in Visual Basic .NET, you are either using or importing a namespace like using system, using system.data. Now, as I just said, this BCL actually contains namespaces for all the code functionalities. So if you are looking for database-related functionality, which is the most common thing to achieve in any kind of application you have ever built, that functionality is part of base class library in .NET, and it lives inside a namespace called system.data. Similarly, if you are trying to do some file input output handling or file handling thing, you need to include system.io. Now namespace is a hierarchical organization of class libraries. What do we mean by hierarchical? Let's say I want to do database related functionalities. Then how many kind of databases we can support? Now there are three things. One, the whole container, which will hold data inside it. And then data will become the container, which will hold SQL client, ODBC, OLEDB, and these sort of things inside it. So if you go in C Sharp Visual Studio and you start typing system.data. You will see many more classes will be listed. That is what we call hierarchical organization of class libraries. Now, system is the root namespace in entire base class library or framework class library. In order to look at BCL, object browser is the tool which is provided with Visual Studio, and you can have very close look at BCL by yourself. If you want to see how BCL actually looks like, if you want to look at a high level view in a picture format, this is how it looks like. So system is the root namespace. Everything starts from system and lives inside system. So if you see here, it has collections, input, output, security, configuration, net, services, processes, threading, diagnostics, and many more like that. Now, this is just the theory and a pictorial view of BCL, how it looks like. Let's do the thing in Visual Studio. So here is my Visual Studio 2012 environment, where I'm going to show you how BCL looks like from a developer's point of view. How do you look at that? Now, just like many other things, Visual Studio provides sufficient infrastructure to dig into the details of Microsoft.NET Framework. So I am inside View menu, and then you go to Object Browser option. Here I am using Visual Studio 2012, but you are free to use any version of Visual Studio. The similar options are available even in 2005, 2008, 2010, 2012, which I am using, and the upcoming releases. This menu option and menu item are going to remain the same. So no worries about it. I click on object browser. This will load an interface like this. Sometimes if you have a solution open or if you have a project open, you 
can see your project also over here listed. But in my case, I don't have anything. So I pick .NET Framework 4.5, and you will see some, some namespaces, some entries are listed over here. Now, how do I know which one is my BCL? That is a tricky part. Now, just like any other thing inside software, you have to have a file to represent that functionality. For example, if you are looking for Visual Studio interface, that thing lives inside, inside program files. So what happens, that thing lives inside program files means it lives in an exe. And the exe name is dev.env.exe. That means dev environment.exe. What happens here is similarly your base class libraries in .NET lives inside a file. So what you do if you want to know about that, that DLL is known as mscorelib.dll. So you look for mscorelib, and if you see here, this is your mscorelib.dll, and you look at this thing here. This is the file. So this is the physical place physical location where .NET's BCL lives. Now, MS Core Lib is a pretty interesting name if you see. This has a meaning though. The meaning for that is MS stands for Microsoft, COR stands for Common Object Runtime, and Lib stands for Library. The way you pronounce it is MS Core Lib. So you break it in, in collection of letters. So the way I did it is MS Core Lib, Microsoft Common Object Runtime Library. And this is where your BCL is. I hope you understand what BCL is. Let's look into it. Now, here I go and I expand it. I click. You will see some name here like system, system.collection, conference, diagnostics, input, output, runtime. Similarly, you will find most of the namespaces are listed here. If you expand system, you will see all the, you know, a different kind of data types, classes, different type of things you have used, interfaces. You see here, this is the representation of your int, small and big uh, data types. So all these things are listed out here. So this is a place where you can come and dig down into the BCL. So this is a session about uh, .NET BCL. I hope you enjoyed it. The next session I will be recording is about C, which is CLR in .NET framework. Uh, keep learning. Thank you very much.